five alien cyborgs known as the Five Dastardly Bombers come to Earth looking for the original Bomberman. For some reason, I, I really don't know. It, it isn't ever really explained. <laughs> well, Bomberman tries to defend himself, but they capture him anyway and take him to the spaceship. Awakening in a prison cell in Magnet Bomber's base, the gameplay begins! Yee, hello everyone, and welcome to my Bomberman 2 walkthrough. We're gonna start, as I said, Magnet Bomber's base first. It's known as the Castle Stage. Woo! Kind of slight audio difficulties, but anyway, you just walk around with the D-pad and you plop bombs with ye all A button. You've only got one firepower and one bomb to drop at one time, so as you can see, your blast radius only reaches out to one. So I'd be careful not to un unleash the chickens over there of death, even though that they're not really all that threatening in the slightest. They don't turn unless they hit a wall, so they're just kind of like wandering around there randomly. These magnets, they pull your bombs to you, so you can kind of use that to trap chickens. Poor little chickens. But alas, you must go, for I need to win. And you'll notice that the blasts also change the magnets' directions. And there's a whole load more gimmicks in these stages than there were in the uh, first Bomberman game that you've seen me play. So this should be quite a bit more interesting, and I should say that this game is quite a bit harder as well. So have your A game for this one, trust me. It's quite a difficult game. Um, you want to get as much firepower and bombs as you possibly can. Like, you've seen that bomb power up that I picked up a little while ago. You see at the upper right corner, it now says two. Well, that means that I can now drop two bombs at once because I grabbed that bomb panel thingy. And I shouldn't have unleashed the chicken. That, that was not a very good idea. Turn around. Turn this way then, at least. No. Come on. This. This way. Come on. No, I guess the audio is okay. It's just on that transition screen. Now, there we go. Now when he touches the bomb, he's gonna get... Or maybe not. Maybe this is gonna be a little more tricky than I thought it would be because I only have one firepower. Oh, that roller skate that I grabbed there increases your speed. Come on, this way. No, please. I, I'm begging you, chicken. Thank you. Now touch the bomb. Good chicken. And now that door opens. If you blast that door while it's closed... Oh wait, that door doesn't... Oh, I need to blast the switch. My mistake. I completely forgot about the switch on the first stage. That is a sign of a bad walkthrough. Well, maybe... Ah, fire up. Now you'll have two blast radius. So it goes out to where Bomberman is now. Well, one square before that. Otherwise, you know, you would blast yourself. This, this switch here, you can't press by touching it. Oh, I should blast the door just to show you if it'll work. Nah, it doesn't work. <laughs> when there's no enemies on the screen, that doesn't work. But if you do blast the door, when there's enemies, uh, more enemies will respawn on the stage. And that's the end of the first stage, and that's Bomberman's gameplay in a nutshell. If you remember from my first walkthrough of, you know, the first Bomberman game, there's a lot more to the Bomberman games. By the way, that dynamite, blast it with your bomb. Watch what'll happen. Well, actually, I should probably hit this first. And this is a nukes kind of thing. Run! Run! <laughs> yeah, the dynamite there causes a chain reaction of a bunch of different little explosions which hit the other switches as you've seen there. That's why I wanted to hit that other one at the bottom first. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Give me a power up over here. And we're gonna continue on. Oh, wait, I shouldn't be that close. <laughs> uh, chicken is going to touch my bomb. There we go. Delightful! And you'll notice that the, the levels are also a lot larger than they used to be. Wait, what are... I forgot what those things are. What do, I, what do they do if I hit them with a bomb blast? Oh, uh... Well, I accidentally hit the door. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention there, but as you've seen, the enemies respawn when you hit the door. Which I did not want to do in the slightest, but that's okay. But really, what, what are these... Yeah, what do those things do? Um... Ah, when you lay a bomb on them, it gives you maximum explosion, or, I mean firepower, excuse me. I completely forgot about that. But now I remember, so if I drop one there, it's gonna smash that. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna smash everything and then some. Um, I don't believe that... Um, if you hit a switch, it'll turn itself back off. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, those kinds of switches do not toggle in that way, so you should be fine there. Um, going to just go back and forth here to save me some time. And is that it? Did I get all the... Oh, there's you. <laughs> 
Come on. No. I, I come on, please cooperate with me, chicken. Go this way. No. <laughs> I but no, don't turn. Go up here. Yay! Now I can go to the door. <laughs> come on. Come on, there we go. Woo! I'm a happy little bummer man! <laughs> no, I guess the audio is fine. It was just that first time. That was just so weird. Anyway, hit this. I think you'll be able to blast that guy if you time it right. Yep, I was correct. Uh, oh no, that... Um, what's, this, what's the range of that magnet out there? I just want to figure that out for the fun of it. It's... Four squares, okay. Just wanted to check that to be sure. Needless to say, it really gets in. Whoa, 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 whoa! Needless to say, it really gets in your way, and the Xbox controller is messing me up because I'm not used to it. <laughs> My God! <laughs> what a chain reaction! Oh, those guys! If you get too close to them, they'll do this electric magnet thingy and pull you towards them, but doesn't really do all that much because it's not all that powerful. But they do sort of home in on you, and these magnets, for some reason, don't attract you in the slightest. Maybe it's a male and female thing. I, I don't know. I shouldn't be going down that route, should I? Um, uh, yeah, I do have to get rid of that guy, but I want to make sure that I don't, you know, like, blast something I don't want to blast, so to speak. Um, yeah, they take two hits in case you didn't realize that. I, was gonna t I wasn't paying attention to that magnet. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> So you gotta look out for a lot more things in this version of Bomberman than you did in the other one, which is something I'm gonna have to get used to because in the, in the first Bomberman I was pretty much just rushing through each stage and just demolishing them completely. Okay, now if I... Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing else that's gonna like chain reaction and hit that door or something like that. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure, you know, you can never be too careful. Uh, that's it! Not, there's a lot of power-ups in this game. Holy poopers, look at that. I'm at five, bomb, five bombs and five firepower already. Oh, and I should mention that the passwords in this game... Whoa! That's not good. The passwords in this game are a... Well, that was one-sided. <laughs> when you use a password, there's only one password for each world, and then there's a, a special power-up password, so to speak. And... Um, each of them take you to the very first level of a world, so when you play this game, you've got to dedicate your time to play through it, you know, play up to the next world, otherwise you're going to have to start from the, from the very beginning. you seen that glove that I picked up? If you drop a bomb and then press the bomb button again, you'll be able to pick it up like so, and you can throw it around, uh, cross screen, over blocks, stuff like that. It's an extremely handy power-up. But it only works if you are next to, I mean, if you are standing on top of a bomb, not not if you're next to it. Like the, um, it's not, it's not like the boxing glove from the first game. It's its own power-up, basically. It's not quite as, like, you can't save yourself quite as easily with it, obviously. But it's still a great power-up in its own right. Uh, delightful. Now come down here, Magnet Man. No, don't turn. Stay there. Thank you. <laughs> That, oh, by the way, those bomb guys, you'll notice that they explode every once in a while. Uh, they can harm other enemies. It's pretty interesting that they can actually do that. They're one of the few enemy enemies that can do that. They can also blast soft blocks. Like, you see these treasure chest things that I'm breaking? Those are known as soft blocks. These ones in the middle here, they're known as hard blocks. You can't do anything with them. Uh, they're just there to be in your way or to guard yourself, whichever way. <laughs> Hopefully to guard yourself. Um... You'll notice that bombs only are attracted to magnets when they're turned towards, you know, the tips of them are turned towards the bomb. That's kind of unreal unrealistic, actually. <laughs> but who am I to say, you know, questioning the game, a game's realisticness? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, bomb blasts also can travel downstairs, unless there's certain kinds of stairs. Man, that guy was just like spazzing out there. <laughs> It's kind of weird. I'm gonna turn this away from it because it's, that's gonna get in my way otherwise. Oh, that was delightful. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better. He just turned right into a bomb blast. And that wasn't the plan, by the way. That was just like an expression to say I couldn't have planned it better, of course. Um, will this hit the door? Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter because I killed all the enemies. So it doesn't matter if I blast the door. Yeah. Alrighty. This level is done. One sex, let's go! Um, 
I believe there's a boss on each seventh stage, and then uh, a larger, more menacing boss on the eighth stage. Whoa, 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 whoa! If I'm not mistaken, I just almost ran face first into that critter. Um, hmm, I, yeah, that, that can't get any further there, but I'm, I was just looking ahead there to see what exactly I want to do. I should probably, like, see if I can get that guy to come down here. Because I would like to blast them using this thing, because it's got a su got such a long range. That would be ideal, but eh, well. I guess I'll just take care of him the old-fashioned way, because he's not just cooperating with me. Er, come on this way, please. I'm, I'm begging you to... Thank you! There we go. Did he just turn around? You turned around, didn't you? Yes, you did. Come on, this way. Please? Alright, there we go. I'll do not dodge my blast. Yes! <laughs> See, it's so nice when enemies cooperate. Uh, firepower? I think those guys only turn around when they touch a wall, so I think I'm good in that regard. It's kind of funny, the bomb doesn't pulse when it's on, uh, when I mean when it's being attracted by a magnet. You see that? See, it doesn't pulse when it's touching a magnet, but it pulses when it's not. It's kind of weird like that. I should say when it's being attracted by a magnet. Alright, those are pressed, because that was a dynamite blasting everything at once. Uh, this one over here, definitely gotta be blasted through. Run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, actually, I wasn't as safe as I thought I was there. I went right through the magnet. Wow. Uh, Okie dokie. Um, that should be it, unless there's a something else that I missed in this stage? I don't think I did. Nope. So let's go to the door and fight the boss! Woo! You know, I should have used my glove and really raped the enemies on the other side of those, uh, the higher walls. Yep, it's Magnet Bomber. Bring it on! Uh, needless to say, his bombs are magnetic and will be attracted to you if they see you like that. I mean, if you're in the line that they're, you know, moving and I mean, you, you see what I'm talking about. They're just like magnets, except they're attracted to you and not your bombs. And I believe if he touches you, it'll hurt you, so don't let that touch you. I mean, don't let him touch you. Just play strategically. Try not to get blasted by his bombs. And yeah, you get the idea. The reason why the arena was set up like that was because of the fact that he was trying to trap you with his bombs because they get attracted to you in straight lines like that. And yeah... I am doing a terrible job of hitting him, aren't I? Or he's just very, very good. <laughs> Wait, can I like... Oh, no, that didn't work. I can abuse his AI just a little bit, I see. Like, if he is in the line of a bomb blast, he'll move away from it. Like that, sort of, kind of. But luckily, I have unlimited time here, because this guy is... He's quite the tough cookie. <laughs> and I believe... Uh, he takes like three hits to, to defeat as well, and he just hit himself with his own bomb there. <laughs> and he did it again. And he did it again. Wow. <laughs> suicide is the only way to beat him, apparently. <laughs> well, you know, him suiciding. <laughs> that was ridiculous. All right, boss time. I believe he can punch you, obviously. Um, but, um, yeah, that'll likely hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he stays mostly at the top. Uh, whenever he stops, he then moves his arm out to try and punch you, to try and cause you damage. And man, if you die on one of these bosses, it, it kind of sucks to have, have to restart from the very beginning. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, can I like take advantage of this by throwing it through the back? Oh my god, I can! Why did I never see that before as a kid? <laughs> Because when you throw bombs at enemies, it actually causes damage to them, and it, it works on bosses too. Wow, I, I am flabbergasted at this. This like, this breaks everything. <laughs> Seriously, this is... <laughs> and he's down. <laughs> Man, if you want to beat a boss fast, just come with a power glove. <laughs> yes, I said power glove. Had to make that reference. <laughs> Actually, I think it's called the throw power up. And that's the end of World 1. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part when I start World 2.